I would like to talk to you about why many EELF projects fail. And I really think that the most important thing of it is that we stop listening to patients. And one of the things we did at Rutberg University is we appointed a chief listening officer. Not on a very scientific way, she puts up a little cup of coffee or a cup of tea and asks patients, family, relatives, what's up? How could we help you? And we think, we like to think that this is one of the major problems why all, maybe not all, but most of the ELF projects fail, since we stopped listening. This is my weighing scale. It's a very simple thing, it's got one nut, on, off. And every morning, I hop on it. And yes, I got a challenge, as you might see. And I put my challenge on 95 kilograms. But the thing is, that it's made this simple, that whenever I hop on, it sends my data to Google Health as well. And it's collected by my general petitioner as well. So he can see what's my problem in weight, not on the very moment that I need cardiologic uh, uh, support or something like it, but also looking back for it. But there's another thing. As some of you might know, I got more than 4,000 followers on Twitter. So every morning, I hop on my weighing scale, and before I'm in my car, people start talking to me, I think you need a light lunch today, Lucien. <laughs> but that's the nicest thing that could happen, since this is peer pressure. Peer pressure used to help patients, since this could be used for obesitas. It could be used to stop uh, smoking for patients. But on the other hand, it also could be used to get people from out of their chairs and try to work together in a, some kind of gaming activity to get more control of the health. And as of next week, it will be soon available. There will be this little blood pressure meter connected to an iPhone or something other. And people will be able from their homes to take their blood pressure, send it into their doctor, and eventually share it to others, for instance, for over $100. And this is the point where patients get into position and can collect not only their own control again, being captain of the own ship, but also can help us in healthcare due to the challenges that we're facing, like healthcare, uh, cost explosion, double demand and things like that. Make techniques that it's easy to use and start with this to embrace patients in the team. And you could do this with techniques like this, but also by crowdsourcing. And one of the things we did, I would like to share with you, introduced by a little video. We all got navigation controls in our car. We maybe even got it in our cell phone. We perfectly know where all the ADMs are, just about this city of Maastricht. The other thing is we know where all the gas stations are. And sure, we could find fast food chains. But where would be the nearest AED to help this patient? We asked around and nobody knew. Nobody knew where the nearest life-saving AED was to obtain right now. So what we did, we crowdsourced the Netherlands and we set up a website and asked the crowd, if you see an AED, please submit it. Tell us where it is, tell us when it's open, since sometimes in office hours it's closed, of course. And over 10,000 AEDs in the Netherlands already have been submitted. The next step we took was find applications for it, and we built an iPad application. We made an application for layer, augmented reality, to find these AEDs. And whenever you were in a city like Maastricht and somebody collapsed, you can use your iPhone and within the next weeks also on your Microsoft cell phone to find the nearest AED which can save lives. 
And as of today, we would like to introduce this not only as AED for you, which is the product called, but also AED for us. And we would like to start this on a worldwide level and asking all colleagues of us in the rest of the world, colleague universities to help us to find and work and act like a hub to crowdsource all these AEDs around the world. That whenever you're on a holiday and somebody collapses, might it be your own relative or someone just in front of you, you can find this. The other thing we'd like to ask is companies also all over the world that will be able to help us validate these AEDs. This might be courier services or cable guys, for instance, just to see whether the AED that's submitted still is in place. So please help us on this one and try to make not only health a little bit better, but take control of it. Thank you.